everyone. So I thought I'd talk about health and uh, why it's now my priority. So obviously, originally, um, I was all about weight loss. You know, I was going out on the, when I first, especially when I first came to Thailand, I was all about weight loss. I was about getting in the cage. You know, I was almost eating like whatever just to get me uh, fueled on the bike. Um, yeah, so now I've came to a place where, you know, I've lost, let's say the lion's share of the weight, you know, I've probably got five, possibly maximum of 10, because obviously I still don't know what my true body should be like. So let's say around five kilos to lose of fat. Uh, it's just chiseling away essentially. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm in those later stages now where I'm just chiseling away the last parts of the fat. You know, I'm, I'm already looking lean in a lot of areas, the face, the arms, like my arms are, are looking quite lean, um, things like that. So yeah, I'm literally just chiseling away the fat now. So it's, it became apparent to me, you know, that I've got these uh, these issues that I've, I've actually faced all my life, uh, such as psoriasis. Um, and anyway, so I've obviously done research, you know, um, and I thought originally, you know, I'd go on the vegan diet, especially when I went on a whole foods vegan diet, I was thinking, why have I still got psoriasis? You know, I thought all these issues were caused by dairy and meat and whatever. And, you know, as soon as I went vegan, you know, I'd cure it, I'd, I'd be healed. Well, it's not quite as simple as that. Like, obviously, if I was eating vegan in the first place, like whole, whole foods vegan, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have got these issues in the first place, right? Let, let, let's say that. But... Um, just simply eating that diet isn't going to cure them. Uh, obviously, I've tried eating raw diets in the past and things like that, and that hasn't done anything. So all this raw sort of propaganda's bullshit, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, uh, I've obviously done research on why I'm, I'm you know, I, I've, I've still got psoriasis, and it all boils down to the kidneys. Um, now, obviously, the kidneys aren't filtering properly as they should be so therefore skin issues have become prevalent now i'm not i've never been one for getting many spots um so when i do it's sort of alarming almost so i sort of think what's going on why am i getting these spots and anyway the first thing that happened when i stopped training uh, recently because i hadn't be really been getting much sleep i realized that because my kidneys aren't working properly I'm, I'm also rarely peeing as well even on a day that i'm not exercising much so i'm not very dehydrated uh, I'm still rarely peeing, even though I'm drinking sort of three, four, five liters a day sometimes. Um, especially when I go out on the bike, I'll easily drink two liters on the bike and then three off. Um, and I'm just barely peeing. And then when I am peeing, it's like yellow and then clear and then, you know, it's just inconsistent. And I actually feel when I am drinking a lot that my stomach's just getting fuller and fuller and fuller. And I'm still not pissing for like four or five hours after I've you know, so I'm thinking like, what the fuck's the problem here? Like, I'm drinking plenty, you know? I don't feel uh, dehydrated, so it's not like my lips are dry or my mouth's dry or anything like that, you know? My face doesn't look dry, anything like that. You, you can tell when someone's really dehydrated. Um, you know, so anyway, I'm, I'm looking this up and it's like, oh, it's my, it's my kidneys. So I'm thinking my kidneys aren't filtering. So literally what's happening is that the water or liquid or whatever is staying in my stomach and it's not filtering through the kidneys and then going into the bladder and then, you know, being pissed out. So I'm looking into this. I'm thinking, how can I fix my kidneys? You know, people are telling me about herbs, tinctures, things like that. Uh, you know, I even had a friend of mine who's an iridologist. She, you know, she looked at my eyes and she was like, boom, straight away, told me it was my kidneys, told me all these symptoms that I would have. And I was like, yep, yeah, I've got them symptoms. Um, so anyway, um, I've, I've, anyway I've, I've, ch I've been given a list of herbs to, to, to get and things like that. And I, you know what, it's been an absolute balls ache trying to find these herbs. You know, I've gone from here, gone from there. I've gone to all these places that even people recommended me to go in, in Chiang Mai. Uh, and they're like, literally, oh, we don't have these herbs. Oh, you, you've got to see a doctor, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we don't have them. I'll go here. You know, I've been sent wild goose chases and all this sort of shit. So anyway, I eventually found this Chinese uh, Chinese medicine herbal place, um, you know, very traditional. Um, and that's something I honestly believe, something I honestly believe in, like Chinese medicine. Like it's been around for, for what, millenniums, right? And it's one of them things that like um, we we've stepped away from now because it's all like oh have some paracetamol oh have have this every day for the rest of your life these tablets or whatever you know we, we've forgotten that that nature made all of the medicine for us in the first place you know via herbs and you know things like that so anyway um, it's something that I'm, I've decided I'm gonna, I'm going to do all of this you know um, holistically you know, as holistically as possible. I mean, certainly if I went to a doctor now, what would he give me? Some fucking 
uh, tablet or something. Oh, take this for the rest of your life. You've got you've got failed kidneys or whatever. Um, I don't think so. So at the end of the day, I, I want something to cure the problem. Uh, you know, I've got psoriasis. That's just a symptom of me having um, bad kidneys. So I want to fix the kidneys, and I'm, I'm lessening. I've lessened the training now because obviously any acid that I build up by cycling, lactic acid, etc., is not getting filtered. So then I'm not sleeping. I'm feeling like shit, etc. So. I'm literally going to, um, health is my priority now. I'm not saying I, I don't care about fitness whatsoever. You know, I'm still doing rides on the bike, but not anything intense. So I'm not doing anything over zone two. If that loses me some fitness, so be it. You know, as soon as, soon as I get back to health, as soon as I'm back on, on track with my kidneys, you know, my skin conditions have gone, you know, I mean, I feel amazing right, right now, but then again, this is all I've known. You know, I've never felt this good in my life. But I'm, maybe I can even feel better if my kidneys are fixed. So I'm going to literally work work my hardest, right, to fix my kidneys, get them fixed, and this is my priority. Nothing else matters right now. Um, well, I'm not saying nothing else, but you know what I mean. Like uh, I'm not interested in, in competing in any events or doing KOMs on the bike or you know beating someone else up a hill or anything like that. You know, I'm not interested in um, any anything like. Um, being being high watts on the bike or anything like that. All all I care about now is healing my body. That's my top priority. And if it means taking six months off training, a year off training, whatever, I'm going to do it. So I'm dedicated to it. And if it means occasionally missing out on food that I like, then whatever. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd update everyone. Health is my priority, and that's. Um, yeah, that's probably why you're not going to see any intense rides on Strava. Everything's just going to be simple. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, let everyone know. I'll see you in the next video.